Hello everyone, Roturo here with yet another episode of The Motormen. That's right, we are going to take another run through Football Manager 2013 with Voxel Motors FC. And uh, this is going to be an interesting one. We've just finished Transfer Deadline Day. Time is closed and we have picked up a Fleetwood's Northern Ireland central midfielder James Knowles on loan to the end of the season. Now, Knowles will be sitting next to our other Lonian midfield, Dennis Knight, and look at this. For a, I can't believe I got this guy for a season-long loan for nothing. I don't have to contribute to wages or anything. This is a pretty big steal to sit in the midfield next to Knight, who you may recall is uh, joining us. Where is he? There he is, Dennis Knight, sitting in midfield, joining us from Stockport. Uh, he's been doing quite well for us in the midfield role. He's also going to play in attacking midfield as well, which is nice, having a little bit of flexibility to swap out Flenley. Uh, but we are getting glad to have Mr. Uh, Dennis Knight and Mr. James Knowles now, our loanies in midfield. Reese Morel Williamson has actually done his loan, our striker up top. And that's where we're actually going to start after we check out the latest news items here. Oh, a bunch of big fees. Ooh, 25 mil. Kaka left Chelsea for Seti Oz Roma for 15.25 million. Whew. That's a lot of money that I'm never going to be spending. Okay. Ooh, Harrogate has... Ooh, wow, uh, we play Harrogate next, actually. That's not good. Okay, oh, Luton got rid of somebody. All right. Mm-hmm. All good under the training category. Concerns about Joe Dudley. Huh, that's not good. Rest, but Walsh on side, good. Player of the month. Wow, Appleton came in just behind. Second place for player of the month. Good for Toby Appleton, our uh, our magical young defender, and he does indeed win young player of the month. Well done indeed for Toby Appleton, which really, looking at the ratings he can pull in, it's not that much of a surprise. Uh, no sign there on goal of the month, and I'm guessing I'm way in the back for boss of the month. So let's start off this episode with our last match. We had a home match against Luton, part of a stretch of three matches in a row here before a nice big break before Burton comes up. Harrogate and Balerike are up, and those are very, very winnable matches. So to start off against Luton, a team up in seventh place to hold them to a nil-all draw was excellent. You can see here Appleton, man of the match with an 8.4 rating, holding the back line together. Very happy with that. Flenley did not have the best game. I was Reese Morel Williamson playing in his last game for the club before his loan ended. Got a good shot on net. So did uh, Jonathan Breeze, for that matter, which was saved. And let's get to those highlights right now. There's also a goal called off for being offside for uh, Luton here. So hopefully we can see that in the highlights. And here we go. Voxel in their white and blue kit. Luton in their orange and blue. Now, right off the start here, we had a decent, uh, decent side of things come. Morel Williamson just being beaten to the ball there by King. And here we go, wearing with the long ball in the 24th minute. Unfortunately, goes straight to Dummett, who gets it over to Spear, out wide to Howells. And here goes Luton now on the offense. Howells looking to put in the cross. Will find Spear, plays it out wide to Dummett, back to Howells. And there's the cross to Evans, who knocks it in at the post, but the assistant referee flags for offside. Evans is rather upset. But it wouldn't matter. Uh, the, the call would stand, and the score would stay at nil all. Into the second half now, the 58th minute. Porter on the throw-in from Marfell. Begins to position in the midfield. Knight holds onto the ball, gets it forward to Breeze. Back to Porter, over to Knight. Poxen moving up, takes the ball over to Marfell. After receiving the ball from Porter. Porter now to Knight, gets it forward to Breeze. And here's Breeze, shot right on target, literally into the keeper, King. That shot could have used a little more power and a little more placement. That was a clear-cut chance that went begging that corner in the follow-up, resulting with nothing. And that would basically be how it ended. Uh, Marfell will get the ball up to Morel Williamson here in the 61st minute. A decent chance this, but really not much to write home about. Wallstrom gets the ball out wide to Wainwright before moving it to Porter, back to Poxen. Out wide to Marfell, Porter. Poxen and Marfell holding the ball nicely. It's Flenley, the nice flick to Wollstone home, finds Morel Williamson. A good shot and a great save, but he was offside anyway, so it wouldn't count for anything. And that is it. A 
good defensive effort, though since that doesn't make for good highlights, we didn't see any of it. What mattered there was an excellent defensive showing, keeping the scoreless draw and getting us a valuable point to stay in the hunt there. And so our next match is another home fixture against Howardgate, who, as you saw, transfer deadline day, made quite a few changes. And this, while it's winnable, I still call this a winnable match. I am slightly concerned, considering now Harrogate has the guns to do some damage to us. And York have accepted offer from Dell. I don't think I made a bid on him, did I? I did not. And York are making a bid. So it looks like I'm just going to remove from the shortlist. Pardon me. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Jones with assistance with injuries. I actually made a bid for him. Uh, AFC Telford got him. I made a play for him as well. Was outbid handily. Uh, so that will be interesting. What's the board saying? Oh, we lost 24,000 last month. That's not good. Oh, uh, they paused at that 5 0 victory over Salisbury. That was something. Oh, my goodness. Was that a was that a game or was that a game? My goodness. Uh, get receipts good. Uh, salary still good. Yeah, the expenditures just keep climbing. All right. So let's uh, go to the match preview here. Four players out injured for Harrogate. And, uh,. They will be hard-pressed, although they are on a decent run of form as well. They're only a place above us, so this will be a good test. How is Knowles? Is he ready to go? Is he fit? He is fit. So you know what? We're going to put him right to work. Let's move Finnegan to the bench, I guess. Yes, yeah, let's move Finnegan right out. We'll move Knowles into midfield. Surprise, surprise. Let's push, actually, not your Flemley's last game. Let's move him out. We'll move Knowles up to attacking... Nope, sorry, wrong way around. Let's get Knight up to attacking mid. There we go. Uh, Wollstoneholm can move into the center of the park. Lee and Adkins are back in their usual strike duties. Porter holding the back, though. He is not looking too good. You know what? Let's give Porter a break, and we'll put Finnegan in on that back line. Harness. Good. Marfell and Appleton in the back line. Street and Gill will be tasked with holding this down. Appleton is a little bit tired after so many matches back to back. That's why Marfell is also sitting on the bench, so Kranz can take Cranston, sorry, can take his place on the left. Wainwright is also a little bit tired, so we might be seeing uh, Marfell in on the right, if possible. And things get really bad, we'll bring in Appleton as a central mid. We'll probably pull off uh, Knight. And leave that as our midfield trio. So with that, Vauxhall versus Harrogate. Oh, we have a number to our loanee. You can have number 33. There's a lot of number. Those are, a lot of uh, Vauxhall's numbers are empty now. Uh, we sent out a whole fresh crop of players out on loan just before the transfer deadline. Uh, out to our affiliate Heather, and I believe uh, McAllister also went out to Colwyn Bay. So hopefully we'll get some uh, good match experience. We're facing up against looks to be a 4-5-1 against our 4-4-2 narrow. So we're basically going to concede the flanks pretty much here. And we're going to stir it in the little man. Look at all these milestones we could hit. Need some uh, goals for Nardiello here. And Adkins and Lee. So we'll see if they can get their scoring boots on. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, match 35. We could definitely use this. All right. Oh, their keeper's not looking too happy. Uh, some people are banged up. That bodes well for me. Let's just keep some tabs on. This is interesting. He's a defensive left, but he's been counted as attacking mid-right? What? Man, they are really banged up. They are fielding people in all kinds of not good places. Okay, we're just going to close him down, and we'll see what happens there. Taylor, he's got to be a striker, and he is, so let's just stay on top of him. It's a home match, I don't mind going in hard on somebody if it's a home match. Keep the midfield under wraps here. And, yeah, what the hell, let's dive in. Who's this guy, Brobble? Oh dear. Okay, we no longer care about you. Uh, we no longer care about you at all. That's basically all going to be on you. Stay on top of this guy. All right. I agree we are the favorites. So come on, let's show what we can do. 
Oh, they didn't really buy that, did they? Ah, there we go. I want a performance. I believe in all of you. Go out there and get me a win. Alright. Let's go out and get it. Voxel versus Harrogate. Voxel in their white kit. Harrogate in the black and yellow stripes. And let's see what happens in this home match at Revaker Park. Two shots already. Both are on target. That's that's a good start. Good start for Voxel. No highlights, though. Street off a free kick, I believe. Possibly an offside. It'll be an offside. Knowles forward to Lee. Lee on top of it in the area. Oh, well done, James Lee. Rolls it into the corner. Fantastic goal for James Lee. It is 1-0 in the 26th minute. Oh, look at that. Knight to Knowles already. The midfield bony paying off. Finding Lee with a great cross. And he just, oh, no mistake. Well-placed shot from our all-time leading striker, James Lee. And as we continue on towards the half, you're still looking to be a voxel game here. Six shots, three on target, three off to two shots for Harrogate. Slight edge in possession. Uh, so good so far. Room for improvement. Good job, everybody. Yeah, there's definitely room for improvement. Yeah, that goal, he's still only a 7-2 and he scored a goal. You expect a little bit higher. Anybody concerning? Wolsenholm is slightly concerning. Might bring in Harness, because I do want to save Wolsenholm for the match against Belair, okay. But we'll see. We will see. I actually, this is one of the few matches where I've gone with no special instructions whatsoever. We are doing just a pure uh, tactical setup on counter. Alright, so here, what do we got here? Finnegan holding possession. Right hand side of the pitch, looks for Knowles, finds him, shot forward, oh, Brennan gets that, Knowles again with a cross forward, those long balls aren't finding anybody, but it does find Wollstenholm, oh, and a rocket by Wollstenholm, what a shot by Dylan Wollstenholm, 2-0 Voxel in the 49th minute, what a shot, Wollstenholm brings us down, one touch, boom, rocket, what a shot, that is how you suddenly improve your player rating. All right, in the 55th minute, we are still looking good here. Mullins comes off. 60th minute. Let's start looking at subs here. I do still want to have some people fresh for our game against. Well, you know what? I'm bringing in Flemley for night. Knowles can probably hold. Let's. You know what? Let's bring Wilson home off. He had a good run. I'll bring him. Mm hmm. Wilson home or night? Yeah, Wilson home. It's a good goal. Bring on Harness. Atkins is really tiring out there. He had a whole week off. Why is he? Why is Atkins so tired? Hmm. All right. Anyway, uh, let's. And you know what? We're going to bring in Appleton for Street. I want him fresh for the game against Belair K as well. We'll do a double substitution here. We'll save that last sub probably for injury. Maybe bring a uh, Nardiello on in the 80th for Atkins. All right. Now this is a this is a well done game. I do like this. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Nothing really much happened here. Okay, now we're going in. All right, Nardiello on for Adkins. So far, so good. Pressure's off. Yeah, it's pressure's off. 83rd minute. Nothing much to worry about there. And sure enough, Let's save Atkins for the next game. Two minutes at a time, and this should be a 2-0 win. Oh, corner here from Carter, headed away by Knowles. Well done, and that's it. 2-0. Oh, yes, I am delighted. Look at that. Gill, Michael Gill with an 8.1. Fine game at the back here. Cranston did his job out left filling in for Marfell. Finnegan was a great choice. It looks like a defensive mid. Knowles bossed the midfield with that assist. Wilson Home had his cracker of a goal. Good solid performance from Knights. What a debut for Knowles in front of a home crowd. Just absolutely showed everyone up. Goal for James Lee as well. Fine relief performance all around. I am very happy with that. You know what? That was a good win. Everyone can be happy about that. And with that win, we jumped to 14th place. That was a clutch win. Leapfrogging Barry and Eastley. And now three points clear of Harrogate. And with Belerike coming up, we could really pad our lead on Gateshead here. Right now, eight points clear of the relegation zone. Oh, I am liking this. How did Belerike do? They lost a forest green. Uh, that is probably... Oh, they're right above us in the standings. How about that? 
So, uh, yeah, that's, that's to be expected. To be expected. Uh, so the relegation zone is still not really a concern for us, which is good. I always want to stay mid-table. And this, again, to remind everyone, this is our first season in Blue Square Bet Premier. This is our first season at Conference National, and we're in 14th. I gotta like that. And I gotta say, the I'm looking like a genius now with the loan of James Knowles. He put in a phenomenal performance. That is definitely something I want to replicate. So I'm thinking we might even leave him in for the Balerike match. By the way, if there are any fans of Balerike out there, please let me know if I am mangling that name. I am guessing on the pronunciation here. Uh, what do we got here? Confident performance in the U.S. Oh, this is World Cup qualifying. Canada is one of the league's poorest disciplinary records. Come on, Canada, what are you doing? Let's see, Josie Altador... And then he added again, Landon Donovan. Oh, Camilo scored for Canada. That's Freddie, you do. All right. Oh, this is the Hex. Oh, yes, this is the Hex for 2018. And that was the first match of qualifying. And did Canada ever get stomped? All right. Good to know. Oh, boy. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, Dell. This is York's guy that I believe they're pick, trying to pick up. Hmm. Definite purchase. Interesting. Oh, our under 18s had a friendly against Colin Bay. Spanked him. Good to see. Yes, quality of possession was a good thing. So well attended crowd. Love that. Not even close to capacity, but good that we're getting 500 people out to a match. Yes, he good. Five months remaining. Yeah. Oh, boy. He's going to want a new contract. And he's certainly playing like he wants it. I am very pleased. I think he had a good solid game. I'd love to add him because that was fantastic. How could you not like it, really? <laughs> All right. Let's move on to Balerike. Yeah, the cellar duel is really this, and it's a way match, so the absolute least I expect out of this is a draw. Uh, I am expecting a win. This is one of the few times where I am absolutely accept or expecting a win. If I don't get it, I will be amazed. All right, Alexander still being uh, shopped out to Droylson, who has not responded to the loan request. Hoping they get back to that sooner than later. Bum, 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 loading screens. All right. Let's see what we can see about Balerike. Hmm. They seem to go 4-5-1 or 4-1-2-2-1. So that's pretty standard. We just faced that. And they faced off against similar tactics and been spanked. 4-4-2 in particular seems to really do them in. Well, that's good. We play a variant of that, a very narrow 4-4-2. Uh, oh, oh my goodness, look at this. Even compared to us, they've got decent defense, and then it just all falls to pieces. They have no set left back. That is horrible. Okay, well, I am definitely expecting a win now. That is a given. Now, good. Excellent. He's on loan to Droylston. He had a decent time with Boston United. Not the best. Decent. Hopefully he can... Uh, yeah, unsuccessful, really. Hopefully he gets a better loan there with Droylston. All right. Yeah, win would be great. Give us some more padding. And I honestly expect it. I am... Yeah, yeah, da, da, da. Have you joined the soccer? They're close to a bunch. If we struggle, we're going to put on top. Big F. Oh, Toby's wonderful. He is deserving of everything. I'm not going to pick a winner. For all I know, it could be me. Mathematically, it's still me. I mean, let's look at this here. See, still mathematically possible to finish first or dead last. I mean, Borum Woods sitting on 67. The leader, yeah, there's your top three right there. 67, 66, 66. I'm on 48. That's, I'm probably not going to make up a... Make up a 19-point gap there anytime soon, but, uh, you know, could happen, I guess. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and get to that match.
So I'm thinking for this match, uh, lineup-wise, if Lee and Adkins are good to go, we'll have one of them and Nardiello playing up front. And we'll see who's available. Oh, three players out injured for Blair. Okay. All right. Well, now well, they've been decent, actually. They got that win against Northampton, a draw against Tamworth for losing to Forest Green for that kick in the teeth. Uh, so we'll see if we can add to that misery. All right. Who's ready to go? Wainwright does not look ready to go. So we're just going to bump him to relief duty right now. Appleton's good to go. Bring him back in for Marf. Oh, no, that's not right. Appleton and Street need to change places. All right. Actually, Wilmoth can just hit the bench. That's fine by me. Uh, that means I can bring in a defensive mid. Finnegan can actually go to that spot, I do believe, because Porter's feeling good. Finnegan going to a sub roll. We'll move, uh, not Evans, although he's back from international duty. He had a great, actually, quick aside here. Dylan Evans was over with uh, the Welsh national team, their youth team, I should say. Had an excellent, uh, excellent run out. Uh, I was trying to find out where I find that. Oh, where do I find here? Contact stats, form. There we go, Wales U19. Admittedly, admittedly, it was Liechtenstein, but 7.8 for a good body of work for against Liechtenstein. That's I'm not going to complain about that when you are in a U19. Pulling in that kind of rating, always good. You got to love that. Good for him. So anyway, back to tactics. Uh, probably bring him in at some point. Do I even bring him in for street? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's bring him in for street. Some squad rotation going here. Actually, you know what? This is Belerka. I could probably even risk bringing in Reese Taylor here. Backup keeper. Give Waring a break. Uh, let's bring in Porter. Uh, Gil Finnegan, Mark Ness. All right, up front, night break. Flenley in... Lee and Adkins look okay, actually. Yeah, they look okay. All right. That looks pretty good to me. I think we'll run with that. All right. And let's see what happens. So, we're taking a couple of risks here. Bringing in Evans, despite Street having great form. And bringing in Taylor, despite wearing, giving me no reason to bench him whatsoever. But I do want to get make sure that both Evans and Taylor get minutes. Part of their development means getting the minutes. And I'm facing the last place team with no solid fullback. So, uh, I'm pretty confident with that. I've got the bodies to go 5-3-2 uh, if I need to. So, we will leave it right there. 100 career league goals coming up if Lee can score. 25 for Atkins is set up on. Same thing for Nardiello if he can come on. Oh, it's going to be interesting. All right, well, this... Uh, yeah, not overly concerned, maybe. No. All right, so we'll just keep tabs on you guys. And we'll just keep tabs on all of you. Uh, I'm not really concerned, but yeah, and the D mid is an actual mid, not concerned. Okay, when there is center back, so the center backs aren't bad. And then we get into the fullback situation. Oh, well, look at this. Yeah, we're we're closing that nonsense down. That's getting closed down immediately. All right, come on, boys, show me what you can do. Now oh, it seems to have some sort of Perfect. Good. Let's encourage everybody. Oh, look at that. Look at how happy they are. Oh, my goodness. I love you, coach. You're the best. All right. Maybe they're not saying that. But let's uh, let's go with the counter here. Um, I don't want to play out defense. We're actually doing really good without me doing a thing here. Yeah, you know what? Let's just stay on feet so we don't do anything stupid. And uh, off we go. Voxel in their white and blue kit. Balerike in the all blue. And here we go. This is a match I expect a draw out of, and really I expect a win out of. 
bare minimum is a draw. Oh, good. Marfell's already injuring people. Let's see what happens here. Oh, can also get on the end of that? He can. Flicks it over to Adkins. Adkins sportily! Uh, finish it! No! How did you not put that in? Oh my goodness! Oh, it must have been deflected. Must have been deflected. So we got a corner out of it. There's the corner. Appleton can't get there. Adkins again. Swaibu clears it. Flanley. Oh, oh, Flanley. That was horrible. Oh, I still can't believe we didn't get that in. That should have been a goal. The county that has two clear-cut chances as well. Oh, we're out shooting them. Yeah, we're losing the possession battle easily. But we are making... Oh, there we go. Appleton with this pressure there. Flenley can't get there, though. Yeah, I'm starting to worry about Flenley here. His position is certainly under threat from our lone E this season. Evans, good header there. Can Knowles get there? He can. Flenley. There we go. Out of way, Flenley. Over to Adkins. Back to Knowles. To Porter. Back to Knowles. What does he do here? Over to Lee. Cranston over the cross. Oh! <laughs> he almost put it in the top corner. Fine save by Gao to put it out. Or Goff. We're going to go with Gao. Right, Atkins at the corner. Who does he find? Oh! Hapleton heads it over. He was there. Got the header. Not on target. You know, slightly worried that we're not burying these shots when we need to. I might start telling us to... Oh, there you go. Possession's a little closer. We're still seeding it. Come on, guys. We can do it. We can still come out of this with a mat the win tonight. I think, yeah, Wilsonholm is not looking good. Neither is Knowles, despite having some good set of play. So we're going to bring in Harness for Wilsonholm. Get some fit legs out there. Come on, boys. Much more to come from you. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, whoa, whoa! What happened there? Talk to one guy and everybody suddenly changed. Alright. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's, yeah, let's work the ball into the box here. We need to bury those chances. So, Atkins and Lee with the kickoff. And here we go. Looking for that win. Against the worst team in the league right now. I'm happy if we get a draw out of this, considering the players. Yeah, Knowles is suddenly having a huge fall off. Oh, good. He's picked his game back up. Uh, yeah, we're going to bring Nardiello on for Adkins. Adkins is not having an impact. So we'll go with him. Happy with our defense, though. They're certainly showing up. All right, who else can I bring on here? Uh, yeah, Knowles is taking a step back. We're bringing on Finnegan. Wholesale midfield change. How are we doing here? Still low in possession. Horrible passing completion. Yikes. That does not feel confidence. But hey, at least we're getting the draw that I wanted. Um, I would, you know, like a little bit more than a draw. Oh, good job, Marfel. Oh, he's found Nardiello. Come on, Marfel. Do something with it. Marfel's on the right. You're filling in for Wainwright. So hopefully... Oh, oh, Harness! Marcus Harness! Oh, my goodness. The super sub does it again. Oh, was he offside, though? Let's see. Last defender. Last defender's there. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, my goodness. He is onside. That whole play was onside. Harness, the super sub, does it again uh, for a two-star player. Marcus Harness has come up clutch so many times. And he's done it again, filling in for Wolves at home and midfield. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Appleton, what have you done? Oh my goodness. 
He tried to head it behind and headed it into his own net. No! Oh, Staunton with the cross. Oh, what are you doing? Look at this. I paused here. Appleton just... Oh, he heads it into his own net. He just has to control it. Just control it. You've got Evans there marking Bafuda. Oh, my goodness. And he knocks it into the net. Oh, my goodness. And that's still not the last action of the game. Surely that must be it, though. There it is. Oh, my goodness goodness we he still gets man of the match I guess for scoring a goal oh unlucky boys that was just ugh. that was uh, that's kicking the teeth to be honest I know I said I would have been happy with a minimum of a draw uh, and I, I guess I am because we didn't lose but man that close to a good good one nothing defensive win on the road, and losing it to an own goal. I had expected myself to beat Blair K2, David Shannon of TeamTalk.com. Thankfully, though, uh, with that draw, we actually vault a few teams. We uh, passed Cheltenham and Hyde to move to 49 points and move to 11th. Still 8 points clear of Gateshead, who also drew. Uh, they got a draw against Harrogate, 1-1 leaving them still the edge of the relegation zone. But uh, yeah, that draw press actually pushes us up quite a bit. 59, 49 points. Uh, 56 points is for a playoff spot, so we need to make up 7 points uh, in the around 37 matches out of a 46-match season. So the next 9 matches, we would need to make up 7 points, which is tall order, and honestly, <laughs> I'm amazed we're at 11th, quite frankly. Uh, it's certainly not a problem there. Uh, so let's see what we have next coming up for Voxel. We have a nice long break for Voxel. Very nice long break. We can lick our wounds, uh, talk about what happened, uh, plan for our next few matches. Because I know we have a nice big break here. Let's just take a look at the upcoming calendar. Yet nothing for the, the next week. Go to the training schedule here. We've got a nice week off. We've got uh, Burton. Uh, as you notice, Burton Borum Wood are fighting for that top spot. That's a nice full week and a half off, and then another week and a half towards Borum Wood. Uh, so it's going to be a tough couple of matches coming up. But I am be glad for the rest. Tell you that much. And it doesn't get much easier after that. Lincoln and then Cheltenham, who we just passed. As you saw, Shrewsbury, who's up there. Absolute Hyde, Barry, and Morecambe. No easy matches as we close out this season. Well, that'll be it for this episode of The Motorman. This has been episode 5 of The Motorman. Hope you enjoyed it. From here in Rivaker Park in virtual Ellesmere Port and Football Manager 2013, my name is Arturo. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.